Would you like a killer idea for getting together dozens, if not potentially hundreds, of memory palaces so you never run out of real estate in your mind when you're using the memory palace technique in your learning? If so, I've got that tool for you that probably you have available to you now that you can use to unlock dozens, if not hundreds, of memory palaces. That's coming right up. Hey there, this is Anthony Metivier from MagneticMemoryMethod.com. This is the website, the podcast, the YouTube channel, all about giving you every possible advantage in improving your memory. So if you haven't hit the like button yet, hit the like button, let me know you're engaged, let me know you like this on the street kind of video and get involved in the discussions below with your struggles for finding memory palaces because I know that a lot of people do find it difficult to find new memory palaces. But I discovered a very, very interesting tool by a person named Christine Cottrell and I've lived in a few cities in the world myself and I know that these exist not just in Brisbane where I am now and that is a book of coupons and in this book in particular she has put together the trending cafes in Brisbane and beyond and when you get the book you're able to go to all of the cool cafes and so I hopped on my bike and went to the first cafe on the very first page and you can see their logo right there on that van and what's so extraordinary about it is not just using the memory palace itself but you start to make more neural networks in your brain as you piece things together you see how this and that street goes together and this and that building goes together and I noticed so many things on the way over here that I hadn't noticed before so so it's about making multiple connections, not just adding one new memory palace, and essentially creating a larger story of the surrounding world. It's very, very powerful. Now, in terms of getting one of these books, you'll notice, and I've had them before in Berlin, and created a lot of memory palaces as a result. So it doesn't have to be about cafes, it can be about the local art galleries, it can be about restaurants, it can be about wine, stores or whatever the case may be. Now wine, of course, is not necessarily good for your memory, but nonetheless, you can find these things and you get some kind of discount when you go there, but it's a sort of story map of the businesses in your city. Now, unfortunately, I can't go to this cafe today because it's closed and I should have called ahead. I should have done the thing. It's called Barebones Specialty Cafe. Anyway, if they'd been open or if I called ahead and maybe said, hey, can I make videos in your store? Then uh, we'll show you the inside. But I think I'm gonna come back. But I wanna make my way through this book and add multiple, not just memory palaces, but multiple connections, multiple layers and levels of connection so that the neural networks have more to play with. And even if you're in a small town, see if you can't find some sort of business guide or a coupon guide that will show you the different opportunities to just go to open houses, go to different businesses for whatever they are doing, whatever they're offering, and get to know the people. So I would love to go and uh, talk to these people and I'm going to be doing that more often and bringing this book and seeing if I can make videos inside. But I kind of wanted a project to learn the place better and to create more memory palaces because I already have so many. But part of the magic of this ability is not just having a couple memory palaces, but continuing to understand spatial memory more and more by using spatial memory more and more and then deepening your relationship to spatial memory by continuing to use spatial memory more and more. And so it's not going to be just about what I could see through the window of this cafe, but now I have the memory of this vehicle here. And if you know the magnetic memory method, then you know that you can use vehicles as memory palaces as well, either in relation to an existing memory palace or to supplement a, a memory palace that you might have elsewhere or as a standalone memory palace. Lots and lots of potential. Potential you never have if you don't get out into the world and make connections between your brain and exterior reality so spatial memory can become the powerful asset that it wants to become for you. So if you want to learn more about making your memory and expanding your spatial memory so that it is the most powerful asset that it can become for you, I got a new webinar for you. It's called Triple Your Memory. Go to magneticmemorymethod.com forward slash 3x and you can register for that. I look forward to seeing you on that. We're going to go more into spatial memory as this powerful asset that everyone has, that everyone can develop, and exactly how to do that so that you're able to quickly reduce the cognitive load on your brain and 
imagine just being able to use something like space, something as simple as a vehicle in a parking lot to help you learn and remember anything because you're using spatial memory and then you're gonna use magnetic imagery on these little points in space to help you encode things that you don't know by using what you already know so that when you go to recall it, it just comes back very, very easily. So that's at magneticmemorymethod.com forward slash 3x magneticmemorymethod.com forward slash 3x. Let me know some of your favorite memory palaces down in the discussion below. Let me know what it's like in your community and if you have additional ideas for unlocking the world around you to create more spatial possibilities for your brain to lock into and to unlock your brain and to create more levels of association and connection. And you're gonna have an amazing time by doing this, join me on this webinar at magneticmerrymethod.com forward slash 3x. Get involved, hit that like button if you like this video. And until we speak again, keep yourself magnetic.